This video has been brought to you by Computer Solutions R Us. Phil and his team hooked me up with a great computer and I know they can do the same for you. Whether you need a computer repair, brand new computer, whatever you need, all your answers are over there. Go check out the link in the description box below and tell them Drew, an artistic gamer sent you. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drew, Artistic Gamer 28 and today we're jumping out of the shadows and looking for some Colossus. Where is the Colossi? That's right, we're reviewing Shadow of the Colossus on the PlayStation 4 today. That is a big shout out and a thank you to Sony for sending me a review code of the game. And they've also asked me to let you know that I'm playing this on an original PlayStation 4, not a PlayStation 4 Pro. Though the game is absolutely gorgeous. Now that's the beautiful thing about playing on the original PlayStation 2 when Shadow of the Colossus originally released. Versus playing in a remastered version from Bluepoint Games that has just brought everything so to a modern age. It is outstanding the amount of detail and life that they have brought into what really is almost an empty, deserted island. It is it's funny to think of Shadow of the Colossus and how popular and amazing the game is because it is fundamentally one of the classics from the PlayStation 2 that is just meant to be on a PlayStation 4 that feels fantastic but there's no real life in the world except for the actual shrine you're in and the Colossus that you're hunting down to eliminate. So the premise behind Shadow of the Colossus, especially if you haven't played this before, is a nice treat for everybody to experience a brand new game. If you're coming back from the PlayStation 2 original game it's nice to relive those memories and that nostalgia but for anyone who has not played the game you arrive at this shrine with a woman on your horse that is more or less gone and you want the help from the gods and the heavens above to bring her back to life you want to bring her back her soul and the only way to do that is by eliminating all the colossus out in the world the beautiful thing about Shadow of the Colossus is when you actually face the Colossus themselves, it's their own little unique puzzle. Each world that they're in or kind of environment that they're in is unique to that Colossus and when you're traversing from one to the other, it's just awe-inspiring to get into the area and see just a beautiful, vast world that the original had and it's just been developed and produced into something it's just absolutely stunning from Blue Point Games. They have done a magnificent job on bringing everything back into life and reviving it for the PS4. Now the Colossus themselves are outstanding. There are challenges having to hold on to certain areas and of course you have a stamina meter so you're going to have to face that which can be a problem and kind of to solve the puzzle of which Colossus and how you're going to traverse him to get up to that point where you have to put your sword through him. It brings a unique challenge because part of you wants to complete the task, but a part of you kind of goes, why do you want to even do this? What do they do to you? It's very cool, very unique. I love what Bluepoint has done for us to actually go back to play this title. Now, the biggest complaint on the PS2 for Shadow of the Colossus was the controls. Bluepoint have done a bunch of upgrades, the controls obviously being one of the focuses, but I still felt the control was missing something. Controlling your horse doesn't feel as smooth as what most games are today. The fact that when you pull your bow and arrow out and you go to shoot your arrow, you're stuck. You can't actually move around. I thought that was kind of odd. Everybody moves in games these days when you're pulling back your arrow to shoot, you don't, you're not stuck. Yeah, like you're just grounded there's nowhere else to go so some of the control issues weren't I think tackled and brought to the new age that we're in today though it felt great to play there are some just missteps on the controls I would have liked a little bit fine tuned a little bit better overall just to be able to play Shadow of the Colossus again 
and look at the world. Controls are probably the biggest issue still with the game. Shadow of the Colossus Remastered is an absolute gem brought from the PlayStation 2 over to a PlayStation 4 and it just takes over the PlayStation 4 as another instant classic. It is nice to see them bring such a great and beloved title and though the controls aren't perfect, still, there are a bunch of significant changes that are just make everything feel so much better and so much welcomed to the PlayStation 4 that it is an absolute must play. If you have never played this title before, you are definitely gonna be missing out on a gem of a game. I definitely recommend it. I'm giving Shadow of the Colossus an eight.